Hello guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tess if you are new here. So for today's video, I wanted to do a video focused on one of my most asked questions. What are the products I recommend and enjoy for back bar? Recently, I was gifted a bunch of gratis from Glymed Plus. If you don't know what gratis is, it is essentially free product that you get from reaching a certain sales quota or that your company provides each month or on a regular basis. Glymed is so generous with their products so this video is not sponsored this is just truly one of the lines I carry and they did gift me all of these back bar sizes so I thought it was the perfect opportunity to show you guys some things that I would recommend for back bar I'm going to talk about each product why I like it and just give you guys a little bit of a haul Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you like it. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at mySDTessa, at mySDTessa on TikTok as well. And don't forget to listen to my podcast, The Treatment Room. I get DMs all the time from people saying, do you have tips for new SDs? Do you have tips for working in the treatment room? I literally spend so much time working on this podcast you guys so much time goes into recording episodes scheduling guests editing the content so i really put it all out there too it's all in the podcast it's in an easy format so you can listen while you are doing dishes while you're driving a car so please go listen to the treatment room subscribe we have some incredible guests on I can't even can't even believe what the podcast has turned into we are now ranked the number 26 woo number 26 podcast in the fashion and beauty category which is a huge win for a small creator like me there's so many influencers and bloggers obviously higher on the list but still on that list and people that I respect a lot so go listen to the treatment room all my tips are there as well as here on YouTube so feel free to have a browse at my other videos and without further ado let's hop into the products and my back bar haul okay the first two products are similar so I'm gonna talk about them sort of at the same time okay these are both acne cleansers and by the way I work with a lot of acne clients it's probably probably 70% of my clients are acne clients and I do focus on corrective skincare even through my virtual practice and by the way these products can also be purchased for yourself they can be purchased for your clients home care and if you want to shop them you can shop them below you just have to purchase Glymed through a professional Glymed does not retail on Amazon it's only available through authorized retailers and professionals with their license. So shop below, support my small business. It means so, so much. PSA over, back to the cleansers. Okay, we have skin wash and we have exfoliant wash. These are actually both 2.5% benzoyl peroxide cleansers. Why do I like these products? I think benzoyl peroxide is such a tried and true acne treatment. It is one of the ingredients that I really credit to helping with my acne journey. Benzoyl peroxide works on both inflamed and non-inflamed acne, so it does really well on hormonal acne, cystic acne, inflamed nodules or pustules, as well as blackheads and whiteheads. If you are thinking about incorporating benzoyl peroxide for your clients, I really suggest starting with a cleanser such as these two because a cleanser is more superficial. It's going to stay on the skin for a shorter period of time as opposed to a leave-on benzoyl peroxide serum. And just a quick sh short story time, I did have a horror story with benzoyl peroxide the first time I used it. And even though I was working with a professional, I was recommended, and this is not their fault, it happens, every skin is so personalized and sometimes other things we're doing at home can affect 
the ingredients, especially active ingredients we're using. So it was kind of just a lot. I essentially started using a 5% leave-on benzoyl peroxide serum, which undoubtedly effective, very effective product. I was also using it in combination with tretinoin. And even though I let the esthetician know I'm going to be incorporating the benzoyl alongside tretinoin, they said it was totally okay. They actually recommended I use the benzoyl leave-on serum once a day and continue to use my tretinoin at night. It was just far too much for me, especially because although I'm acne prone, my skin is more combo, and I can, especially in this area, get very dry and red. So what happened essentially was I had a perioral dermatitis flare-up because I was using this high percentage of benzoyl peroxide alongside retinol. It was far too much for me, and it wasn't introduced as slowly as it should have been. Still a great product. I actually still love and use that product, but it needed to be introduced slowly. And were I to do it over again in my acne journey, I would start with a cleanser that is more superficial. It's not going to stay on the skin and have contact for as long. So what is the difference between these two products? Essentially, the main difference is that the exfoliant wash has some polishing beads in the cleanser. So this one is just a straight up creamy benzoyl peroxide cleanser. This one has the exfoliating beads. So before I get into it, I want to ask the question, who do you guys think each one is more suited to? give you a few seconds to think about it. The answer to the question is that skin wash is more suited to aggravated, irritated, inflamed breakouts. So if somebody came into your treatment room, you know, they had never really had an acne treatment, their acne was really inflamed and red around the base of those nodules or pustules or breakouts, this would be a great soothing, effective treatment cleanser. Exfoliant wash does have those polishing beads, so you would not want to use it around any aggravated breakouts, reason being we could spread the infection. You really don't want to use anything that's much of a physical exfoliant anything super scrubby that could risk spreading infection from one breakout to other areas of the face. Both cleansers do have aloe vera in the base, and this is great because you are getting the potency of the active benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide is going to oxygenate the pore, it's going to detoxify and help alleviate congestion, but having the aloe in there really just buffers it, makes it soothing, so you very much get the efficacy of the benzoyl peroxide, but it's not this harsh cleanser like you might see at the drugstore. It's a very sophisticated formulation and we love it. So this would be a great place to start with your acne clients. Even on the first visit and you can use those cleansers along with a peel, but if it were me, and this is my personal philosophy, especially the first time I am getting to know a client, I like to err on the side of caution. I want to see how reactive they are, if they have any sensitivities, I'm definitely going to have a thorough consultation with them, but I'm not going to hit them hard with any heavy duty peels, even a sal peel, even though sometimes we're taught in SD school that's great for an acne client. I prefer to do what I can by healing the skin, alleviating congestion and bacteria, and just slowly building up a treatment plan with a step-up approach to active ingredients. So you can use those cleansers with a peel, but if it were me, the first time I was seeing someone, I would not combine those cleansers with a peel because I think this can be plenty active for most people, especially if somebody has not used benzoyl peroxide before or if they have not used a medical grade benzoyl peroxide. A little leave-on spot treatment from the drugstore is going to be very different from a professional formulation, so 
I would not be surprised if your client experienced a little bit of dryness, sensitivity, even some redness or irritation the first time they are using benzoyl peroxide. And if you do want to get them one of these cleansers for home care or you want to use it yourself, I recommend just slowly incorporating it in the routine. Eventually, somebody could theoretically work up to using this cleanser morning and night. I would probably prefer to incorporate another active in the evening. And personally, if it were me, although Glymed says when you're just easing somebody into this cleanser, they can just use it once a day or every other day, I, again, prefer to err on the side of caution. I am conservative with treatments, again, because we don't know what to expect. So especially when somebody is first trying actives, I think it's great for them to acclimate. And of course, we want the ingredients to be effective but all in due time slowly but surely is my motto okay next we have a favorite this is daily repair mega moisture cream I just love this product for so many reasons. This is Glymed's number one acne moisturizer. If you are experiencing acne yourself, I highly suggest this product as just a place to start. It has many healing ingredients alongside acne fighting ingredients. This product does include shea butter, which is one of my favorite ingredients, vitamin E, lycopene, beta-glucan, and one of the all-stars in this product is the onion bulb. You will likely feel a little bit of a tingle when you first put it on. Onion bulb is known to assist in the healing of scar formation as well as blisters and actually fight acne throughout the day or night. I love using this morning and night. It would be phenomenal in a treatment room setting. You probably just want to let your client know they may expect to feel a little bit of activity or just a little slight spiciness for, I'd say, 30 seconds while you are massaging it in. Sometimes it's just good to let people know because most people off the street just <laughs> don't know what to expect and they don't know what's right or wrong. So always just keeping them in the loop is a good idea. Oftentimes people also like to feel something working, so I think this one is just a really special product. I would say it's a medium weight moisturizer. If you like something that is ultra, ultra light, I would actually combine it with the hydrogel. It's going to help just give the product a lighter consistency, but it does feel pretty rich and hydrating, especially for an acne moisturizer. This one would also be great if your client had a sunburn or again, you were doing chemical peels. This will definitely help with the healing process and a great one for home care. I feel like this is a product anyone can use whether you're sensitive or acne prone and oily. Skin Bliss Oil Control Mask. I'm obsessed with this product. I think it is definitely a good one to have in the treatment room because it can treat a range of skin types. The only people that might not be ideal with it, and it definitely depends, because it does have citrus oil and lilac, it may not be ideal for those ultra sensitive clients or of course, if they do have allergies. For everyone else, aside from super sensitive, maybe rosacea prone clients, this this one is amazing. Definitely a good one to incorporate in anti-aging treatments as well as your acne treatments. It's going to purify, calm, and reduce oil on the skin. So it is ideal if your client is concerned with pore size, texture, dryness, anti-aging, or acne. Fulvic acid is the key ingredient in this product, which has been used in the medical industry for a while, but it is newer to skincare, and I feel like Glymed Plus just does fulvic acid so, so well. We love fulvic acid because it is one of the most critical antioxidants that is going to aid in skin health. It's going to help slow down the aging process, which we probably all could use, so it's like turning back the clock a little bit and you want to use it on a regular basis. Fulvic acid is also really great for helping to drive ingredients deeper into the skin so we see the most benefits from treatment. So this is a really good one to use in the treatment room to give your client that feeling of younger, healthier skin. 
Next we have Cell Protection Serum. This really is like liquid gold to me and although this product is intended for your dry ultra sensitive rosacea prone clients because Glymed Plus products are all non-comedogenic this product really lends itself well to anyone experiencing issues with their barrier function. I do specialize in corneotherapy which involves treating the skin in an inside out manner looking at all potential aggravators and always prioritizing the strength of the barrier and keeping that intact at all times. So if somebody is having an issue with their barrier function, they may be experiencing a range of issues from dryness to irritation, even to acne breakouts. If I am seeing a client for the first time and they're experiencing any of those issues with barrier function, maybe they have used poor products or drugstore products for a long period of time and it has result and it has resulted in damage or a compromised barrier or even using products that are too harsh using them improperly or using the wrong strength or type of products for their skin type cell protection serum is kind of just like the thing to get things back on track and start that healing process I always think it's a good idea, as much as I love my actives and my acne fighting products, I think every esthetician needs this product because everybody needs something for healing. So many people have a compromised barrier these days and they just kind of need that rehab. So having this in your treatment room or recommending it in home care is just a really good idea. It's kind of like the safety button or just that rehab tool to get your client's skin to a point where they can better receive more active ingredients. You can think of this as your calming, healing, repairing product. It has a ton of antioxidants and humectants, so it's kind of just like drenching your client's skin with a barrier recovery magic. That didn't make any sense. But I just love cell protection serum and even us Estes, since we do have so many actives at our disposal, it just happens that we can overdo it. It happens to me myself, especially if I am working on managing my acne and I just push it a little bit. I love having cell protection serum. I notice overnight it really makes a difference in my skin's barrier health. And typically in one to two days, if I've pushed it a little bit with my Tret and my benzoyl peroxide, my salicylic, what else? Other exfoliants, I do use a lot of active products. So if I push it a little too much, I have the comfort of knowing I have cell protection serum. I can use it for one to two days and typically my skin gets back on track. But also if your client is sensitive, has rosacea, which means that they automatically have a compromised barrier, I highly recommend cell protection serum because it's just going to aid in that daily healing process and giving them the nutrients they need to repair their barrier so it is not as exposed and vulnerable to outside aggravators. Next, we have anti-cellulite massage cream, and I would say I wish Glymed would change the name. <laughs> Glymed, if you see this, maybe think about changing the name because I would like to empower all my clients and viewers and people watching to embrace their body. I have cellulite. Technically, it's all good. It's not something we need to get rid of, so I don't love the name of this product, but I do love what it does. Cellulite is actually caused by pollutants trapped in our skin tissue that create sort of that rippled appearance. And what this product does is promotes circulation and actually aids in lymphatic drainage to rid your skin and body of some of those pollutants. So <laughs> massive disclaimer with this product. It is active. It's like you feel the sensation for sure. If you're somebody who likes to feel something, which sometimes I joke, I just want to feel something in life, so I put this product on. 
It's intense though. The first time I used it, I had no warning. I just bought it and put it on my body. You will feel an instant heat tingling. Sometimes I almost like feel my body pulsating because it really is promoting that circulation and lymphatic drainage. So this would have to be used on the right client not somebody super sensitive, even somebody I'm thinking like my mom who's very sensitive to hives and just having an inflammatory response, not for her, not for the faint of heart at all. This is for somebody who's ready to feel the sensation or somebody who comes to you that's really concerned with cellulite and wants a tool to alleviate some of the pollutants. This does the job. Use it consistently and you will see results. I think it's kind of cool and could be cool for the right person in the treatment room. Again, if they were prepped and understood what they're going to feel with it, especially if you're not necessarily trained in the art of lymphatic drainage, which shout out Michelle Phelan. She has a phenomenal lymphatic drainage course, which I've taken myself, but it really only covers lymphatic drainage on the face, not necessarily the body, but take that class if you're interested in lymphatic drainage. This product is going to do a lot of the work for you and if somebody's ready for it I'm just envisioning kind of while somebody is masking having this on their body and while they're relaxing and they knew to expect the heat it could be kind of cool key ingredients are caffeine peppermint and methyl nicotinate I'm sure I butchered that, but those are the key ingredients that are going to bring on that heating sensation. And this product is very rich, super hydrating, great for normal to dry skin. And it's also going to really plump the skin, firm it, and increase elasticity. But again, not for the faint of heart, kind of fun, very hot. Amino acid epidermal sealant with PC10, definitely a fave. This is a beautiful product to finish any treatment with. It is going to leave your client glowing and just feeling super hydrated. It is designed for those more dry, compromised, or those who struggle with seasonally affected skin and experience a shift in their skin's dehydration or dryness in the winter or colder months. But I absolutely love using this as a moisturizer and I think it would just be so luxurious in the treatment room to finish your treatment and you hand the client the mirror and they look at their skin and they're just like wow I look so hydrated and glowy. Also great if you are following up a little chemical peel. For me, the cell protection serum and the epidermal sealant could really go hand in hand and make a great home care routine for somebody who is experienced compromised barrier function. If you are watching this and struggling with your barrier, getting it to act right, function right, and you have damaged your skin or just have chronically compromised skin, I highly suggest these two you will feel the difference. The cell protection serum is more so designed to be a serum and then epidermal sealant could go on top in place of your moisturizer. Again, it's going to help recreate the skin's barrier if you are experiencing dryness, redness, itchy skin or you've overdone it on actives. I cannot recommend this enough. It is pricier but it just heals the skin quickly and makes it feel amazing. This has a ton of ceramides, PC10, algae, and horsetail. So kind of like the ultimate hydrating rich moisturizer. If your client loves a like the feeling of a thicker moisturizer, they will love the epidermal sealant. Last but definitely not least, Intense Peptide Skin Recovery Complex. Fun fact, this was the first moisturizer from Glymed Plus I ever tried and it just will forever have a place in my heart. If you were on a strict budget and you could only have one moisturizer in your treatment room, this would be it for me because it is going to 
adequately address those super sensitive, dry, or rosacea prone clients while still being light enough for acne clients. And there's the misconception that all acne clients are oily. Not always the case. And oftentimes people do need peptides and hydrating ingredients to repair their skin while fighting their acne and especially if they are using active acne fighting ingredients they still definitely want to properly hydrate the skin little fun trick about this product it can be used on the face neck decollete as well as as an eye cream so also if you could not afford to get an eye cream you wanted to sort of bundle your moisturizer and eye cream definitely do it with intense peptide skin recovery complex i feel like after this video we're all going to be carrying glymed plus which not sponsored in any way i'm just very passionate about this brand because I have not come across a brand that I've found really gives back to the esthetician with education, adequate commission, great gratis so we can try everything and really know the whole line. And the thing about Glymed is I feel like it's not a one size fits all. Like there is a product for every specific skin type and condition. There are so many ways to mix and match to create all kinds of routines and I just think it's phenomenal stuff. Clients love it. Estes love it. It was started by an esthetician. I think their education is world class. It's not just some general skin info. It's not just telling you how to use their products. It really is specific high level education. So I really encourage Estes to even join Glymed to look at the webinars. And if not that, listen to some of the podcasts. Even if you're a client, if you're not an Esty, listen to some of Glymed's podcasts because great information, again, that can be applied to so many different people. They talk so in depth about so many skin conditions. So I just had to say that because <laughs> I don't want this to appear like sponsory. It's truly just for the benefit of other Estes watching who may want to learn about a great professional line for their treatment room or, you know, even those watching who are just skincare fanatics and who want to learn more about professional skincare and how it can be used to treat certain conditions. Back to intense peptide. Okay, something I want to say is that I feel like, I personally feel like peptides are so underrated in skincare. We love to talk about trendy ingredients and super active ingredients. Not enough education on peptides. Peptides are amino acid chains and they essentially act like communicators between our cells. People don't know this, but peptide science is one of the most advanced areas of skincare, and peptides can do so many things. They can stimulate collagen, they can create an anti-inflammatory response, and they are ideal for everyone. You're never really going to overdo it with peptides, whether you are a 15-year-old girl or a 75-year-old man. Anybody can use peptides to reinforce their skin's structure and keep it young and healthy. Lots of peptides, shea butter, sea whip, and ceramides in this product. So it is just a lovely, I would say, medium weight moisturizer. People love to experience the texture of intense peptide because it's kind of that like perfect moisturizer. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. It's definitely lighter than the epidermal sealant. This would be a more rich option. But if you're looking for an everyday moisturizer, you can use morning and nighttime, or you're looking for something you can use to treat a range of conditions, highly, highly love and recommend Intense Peptide. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this didn't come across like a giant Glymed ad, but I know when I was first starting out, I was so overwhelmed by the line and I was desperately seeking education and would ask every SD I knew who carried the line, what they liked, what they used. So I truly hope this was helpful. I can definitely film more haul videos and more Glymed or is clinical education 
medication because I have been trained on them and I feel comfortable using and recommending them in a certain capacity. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. You can definitely purchase these products through me using the links below. I so appreciate your support. So many of you guys do support me and it goes a long way. It means so much. It allows me to create more content. If you see these products on Amazon, they're most likely counterfeit and filled with something from somebody's bathroom. So definitely support your local Estes. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next one.